Okay, the concept here is actually transformation. Uh, I've been taken by uh, British American Racing to try to find a new vision, a new idea to portrait Formula One sport in a completely different way. So the idea was that a Formula car, a Formula One car, is not a fast car, it's a car who accelerates, decelerates and goes around the bend. But the first time in history that it will go in a straight line for 16 kilometers to approach the fastest speed ever. I decided to uh, approach a land speed record in the salt flats of uh, Bonneville. This is close to Utah in, uh, in uh, the United okay. States. The artistic challenge is, uh, is the biggest challenge because also you don't know how it really comes out. I mean, it's something you have an idea. And it's a process, it's a constant process of evaluating, of uh, being curious and motivating the people to go there where you want them to go. It was a huge challenge for the team as the technical part and for me, uh, how, do you, how do you think this? The car is in an environment he's not made, he's not made to drive on salt. The traction, you don't bring the power of the engine onto the ground, so you, you have the, the, the salt is shooting 200 meters up in the air behind the car. We had the 75 people working 24-7 on the car. Uh, we had 3,600 wind tunnel hours to develop the car, plus engineers of uh, engines and hydraulics, and then also to build up on the lake. It's very complicated. You cannot just go on the lake and drive the lake. The lake is not flat. Uh, the problem was when we finally everything had ready, nature decided to rain. <laughs> and uh, when, we, when we wanted to start in the morning, there was water. It was a water lake. So I produced one picture, a car running on salt water, with a parachute course. I created motorsport history because there was never before and there will be never after a car, a Formula 1 car driving on that high speed on a salt flat. I also want to show that the transformation is something what is a constant part of our life. The Chinese are in the biggest transformation. There is no nation in the world who went in the last 25 years to such a transformation. I like to come here because this is from here. Like. If you're in here, uh, you think, what has these pictures to do with Formula One? It's more about our life, it's more about our philosophy than it is about Formula One. And so in the next room, actually, I move closer to the philosophy of the brand, you know. But the brand is also carried by the people, especially by the driver. Exactly. The driver are extraordinary people. If the team spends $300 million, oh, they are person. the ones who are driving at the end, and that's the one who has to bring home the win. But they are hero. I thought, wow, they are, they are special creatures because uh, the reaction time they have, the way they can judge speed and distances. Uh, maybe on, out, of, out of like maybe 10 million person, you find one who is able to do that, who has this talent. In 1998, nobody did it like this. I was the first one who really got them out of the wearing the yes. overall and the helmet. But this is was the idea to implement something, to start something, so that people start to recognize and say, ah, how oh, it's him. Yeah, of course, it all has to do uh, with destruction. These drivers, when they drive for an hour and 40 minutes or 45 minutes, they do not get destructed, not all. But they're so awake, they're so aware, they can hear anything what's going around. So this I symbolize being in that house with these shapes, you know, putting the car on the water, having, having uh, Jacques Villeneuve lying there dreaming, you know, it symbolizes the mental power they have. If they are intense driving, they will never win. Actually, they have to drive Relax. like they dream. They have to be relaxed, they have to control everything, they have to do the overview of everything. That's what all the drivers tell you, when I'm in the car, my heart rate doesn't go to 180, my heart rate goes Drive down low. to 80. It oh. goes down, my heart rate really? has to go down. If my heart rate is right, if I get impulsive, if I get aggressive, you know, this is it, I lose the race. So I symbolize it that the man always must control the car. Well, I had to, to keep something alive after it's not able to be shown in public. I had to come with an idea. So I used the beautiful design of Raymond Levy, you know, the bullseye. Oh, I, I cut it apart, I made it three dimensional, and I found a new interpretation. Well, the red the disc is representing human being, the next circle is white, is our mental power, the next is green, it's environment, and the black one is universe. And when you push it on, it starts to tell we are the transformation. Actually, we are in our cycle of life. And out of this, then, 
the big construction came. I said, wow, I want to bring in the essence of life. Yeah, I create this new language with the people together. You know, the people come in, they become a part of my world and my art. I become a part of their world and their art. We can create something together. And when we're creating it together, we can buy the new technologies. We can send it out to friends, to the digital communities. And huge interaction. So we're starting a huge interaction in the dialogue. But this is what art is about. Art is something who involves people, who involves our time, our cultures. And I think we more and more need art to continue. Yeah. Because we have to base on where we come from. So we need our roots, we need our culture, we need to know where we come from.